Change from the inside out is proactive change and it creates power. How does it create power? It reminds us that never again is it just enough for us to practice what we preach. We must preach only what we practice. We can't just say, I'm going to do this or someday I'm going to be that. The famous French philosopher, Blaisel Pascal, he said, most people live their lives hoping to be happy, but because they only hope, they never really are. Let's talk. We can't just practice what we preach. We must preach only what we practice. To remind myself of that powerful, deep doctrinal issue, I wear this little bracelet that I got from a soldier in Bagram, Afghanistan. Had an opportunity to go over and speak to the troops. In fact, I was just speaking to the troops. That's where I was. I just got back. But I was the first time over, the, uh, over in the uh, AOR, as they call it, area of responsibility. I was there for 16 days, spoke 23 times on 12 bases, and out on the USS Harry S. Truman Aircraft carried over 30,000 of our bravest men and women. Changed my life forever. Because over here, or in our free societies wherein we live, we take our freedom for granted while the soldiers, while the airmen, while the marines, while the sailor, sailors are running toward the sound of the guns in harm's way, we're at the mall. Therefore, it's not enough for me to just walk past a soldier, airman, marine, sailor in their uniform in a mall or in an airport and just say, thanks, and feel like I'm doing my civic duty. Are you kidding me? It's not enough for us to just put one of those little magnetic bows on the side of our vehicle that says support the troops and feel like we're doing our duty. Are you kidding me? So I decided I better not just practice what I preach. I better preach only what I practice. And I've never taken this bracelet off. Made out of a parachute cord, 82nd Airborne, which is cool. I can go in the ocean surfing. I can shower and it dries quickly. Under attack, little combat metal little airborne insignia and an American flag to remind me never to take my freedom for granted, never to take our opportunities for granted. And in that light, I've made a higher commitment, if you will. Every single time I see a soldier, Marine, airman, or sailor at an airport, I always buy them a meal. What a drag, I'm going broke. No one ever told me they don't hang out by themselves. They're always in groups of three, five. When they find out I'm buying food, it's like, <laughs> guys out of the men's room, 20 dudes jobbing down, down the concourse. Hey, 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 free burritos. <laughs> Decided I better take that commitment on board the plane, too. I fly Delta Airlines. I'm so fortunate to fly Delta Airlines so often and fly first class. They take good care of me. I always get a window seat. I've written most of my books on the road, a lot of my songs on the road. No one bothers me on the airplane. I don't bother them. Window seat, I'm in my own little world. I'm sitting there, first class, Delta Airlines. They've served some beverages, and the passengers start boarding the plane. And sure enough, there's always one passenger with that 411-pound carry-on. They have to get that five-yard sprint at the overhead just to cram it in where it doesn't fit anyway. So all the passengers are backed up. The congestion stops the boarding. And I look left, and sure enough, right on, my, uh, right on my row in the aisle is a soldier in his uniform. So I chat him up. I said, what's up? He said, nothing, sir. I said, how are you? He said, fine, sir. I said, are you coming or going? He says, I'm just coming back from the desert, sir. They're always so polite. I said, where have you been? He said, I've been in Iraq for 15 months. I said, I bet you are so excited to see your family. He says, I sure hope they're excited to see me. I said, guarantee, bro, guarantee. I said, I want to swap seats. He says, no, 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 sir, that's not necessary. I said, come on, it's the least I can do. Swap me seats. Flight attendant overhears me. Mr. Clark, that's so nice of you. I said, that's not so nice of me. It's the least I can do. Come on, swap me seats. Take good care of him. Get him anything he wants. He said, give me your ticket. I go to the back of the plane looking for a seat. Wouldn't you know it? He's sitting in a center seat between two chubby guys. <laughs> now I've lost 41 pounds since I got through playing football. I'm still 6'5", weighing in about 235. So I get to the aisle. You should have seen the faces of the folks that I was going to sit between. They're looking at me like, no way. And I'm looking at them like, oh, no. 
I slide in, excuse me, excuse me. I'm like, oh no. It's a four and a half hour flight. And in the first 13 seconds, I feel like I sat on a stick. <laughs> Are we not all guilty? We come to a convention like this. We get all pumped up. We get all fired up. We start thinking about the possibilities, and we get all psyched up. And the second we hear the first negative note, the first time we have someone say, not interested, the first time we get back into reality, we feel like, wow, this isn't what I had in mind. This isn't what they said it was going to be like here at the National Convention. And we start feeling sorry for ourselves, don't we? I'm stuck thinking, man, I'm so old, I bend over to pull up my socks, and I think, what else can I accomplish while I'm way down here? <laughs> I start remembering the nights I go to bed healthy and wake up injured, and all I do is lay there. Does that ever happen to any of you? You wake up, your hips asleep, your foot hurts, you're like, hey, 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 what's going on around here? I'm starting to stretch out in case something happens at 2 a.m. What allowed me to let go of that feeling sorry for myself, that victim mentality, and start sitting back up and stop looking at my fellow human beings as objects and start appreciating them for being in the same predicament that I'm in and together we shall rise. It was the memory of being downtown Baghdad, Iraq, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And on top of that, our soldiers, our Marines, our airmen, our sailors are wearing 85 pounds to 125 pounds of combat gear. Like I said, running towards the sound of the guns while we can gather together and laugh and cry and feel and get pumped up about making the dream come true. And then I, I discover there's justice in the, in the universe. About four or five minutes later, the guy sitting next to me in first class comes wandering to the back of the plane. I said, what's up, man? He says, you made us all feel guilty. I said, what happened? He said, the next soldier who got on board the plane, I gave him my seat. I said, let me help you find yours. And wouldn't you know it, he's sitting in the row right in front of me in the center seat between two chubbier guys. He slides in, boom, he's so stuck, he can't even turn around and keep complaining. And by the time we took off, four guys who had been sitting in first class were now sitting in the back of the plane where we should have been all along to pay tribute to our men in uniform, our women in uniform. The story doesn't end there. Get to my hotel that night, check in, go to bed, wake up the next morning, shower, shave. I show up to the ballroom to speak. 5,000 folks, a huge national convention. And wouldn't you know it, the guy who introduces me is the guy I was sitting next to in first class. And regardless of the little stereotypical written out introduction that he read, that was read today, the coolest part of the introduction was when he said that collectively we inspired each other to give our seats up to four soldiers to pay tribute to those who allow us to be here today in the first place. Moral to the story, people are watching you. We can't just practice what we preach. We must preach only what we practice and attract people into your business, not because of the quality of the product, which is un, 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 unquestioned. It's because of the quality of the human being representing the product.